What's up guys, it's Will back again, and today's review is John Wick Chapter 2, and that actually rhymes, so that's pretty crazy. Good start. But anyway, John Wick Chapter 2 is an action thriller film that was directed by Chad Stahelski and is a sequel to the 2014 film John Wick. So John Wick Chapter 2 picks up when John Wick himself is brought out of retirement and required to complete a specific task due to a previous oath he made with a former colleague of sorts. But once John Wick heads out to complete this mission, he soon finds out it's a lot more complicated than he originally anticipated and the rest of the film is spent watching John Wick attempt to complete his mission while he also fights off fellow assassins who are trying to claim the bounty on his head. Okay, so I don't think I've ever told you guys this before, but I absolutely love the first John Wick film. It basically came out of nowhere and turned into an action film sensation. So when I heard they were making a second film, I was extremely excited to return to this world and see the continuation of John Wick's story. And I'm happy to report this film is absolutely fantastic in every way imaginable. Now, those of you that have seen the first one are probably wondering, is there any retread or repetition from the first film. Yes, some, but not in a way where you're ever gonna be like, oh man, I feel like I've already seen this exact scene before. Chapter two delivers you the familiar, but builds and expands on it exactly in the manner a sequel should. Theoretically, an action sequel should be bigger, bolder, faster, and so forth. And chapter two clears all those hurdles with absolute ease. There's certain scenes that you will point to and be like, oh, that reminded me of the club scene, or this reminded me of the car chase scene, but they take the tone from those iconic scenes, and instead of just simply replicating the scenes as a whole, they create even crazier and bigger ones. I have to say though that these are some of the best action scenes that I've ever experienced from an action film ever in all 25 years of my existence. They're just so incredibly well choreographed from start to finish and the balance that these two films strike is pretty damn remarkable because it somehow manages to make it feel like a video game and all the death and destruction and fast paced action but also like a gritty no hold bars true story at the same time. And I chalk most of this up to the out of this world choreographed fight scenes that are legitimately among the best I've ever seen ever. You're gonna find yourself blown away by how gritty these action scenes feel and how unfiltered the violence is but in a spectacularly bloody and chaotic fashion. Another question you might have is whether you can enjoy this film if you haven't seen the first one and the answer is definitely yes. There are certainly references and callbacks to the original film but there's not a whole lot to this plot that overlaps from the first one. You can still go into chapter 2 never having seen the original film and you'll be completely fine and not feel lost whatsoever. I do recommend seeing the first one before you go if at all possible because there are a couple references and tidbits of information that will help you better understand certain elements of this story. But they're not anything that will really diminish your understanding and overall experience by really all that much. So from a pacing standpoint, here's something that I will caution you about. A lot of act one is very dialogue heavy. So I don't want you to get in there, watch the first like 30 minutes and be like, hmm, this isn't as exciting as I thought it would be. Chapter two takes a decent amount of time really setting up the story and preparing you for the plethora of violent nonstop conflict to come. I'm not saying that this portion of the film is bad by any means. It just operates at a much slower pace than you might think. Once you get past this point though, it's non-stop action basically the rest of the way. But during these scenes, and really the whole movie in general, Keanu Reeves really shines in this role. I honestly can't see anyone but him in the role of John Wick, because to me this has become his career defining role. You could argue Neo from The Matrix, but I think John Wick is a better overall character, better written and better acted, and Keanu Reeves seems to embody John Wick in a way that feels much more natural and fluid. I also want to give props to some members of what really is a pretty damn damn good cast in common, Ian McShane, Ricardo Scamarcio, Lawrence Fishburne, and Ruby Rose, who all add a lot to this film in their own unique way. This is one of the best acted action films that I've ever seen, and each of these characters really brings something unique and special to the overall thrilling experience. From a technical standpoint, John Wick Chapter 2 is even better than the original. The sound, the editing, the cinematography, and lighting work are all absolutely amazing. It's so easy to get wrapped up in this violent thrill ride of a story because the technical aspects make is so incredibly easy to immerse yourself into the chaos that is John Wick's story. The first one did all of these exceptionally well, but chapter two does all these things on an all time great level in regards to action films. And just to jump back to the story real quick, one thing I will say however, is that the first one has a little bit more emotion to it than this one does. This one is more about paying a debt and then settling a score. And while the first one is still kinda about settling a score, it focuses more on John Wick's absolute need for revenge. I actually like that chapter two has a different reason for bringing John Wick back into the game, because it doesn't feel like a rehash of the original. But overall, John Wick Chapter 2 is one of the best action films I've seen in my entire life. And if it had come out in 2016, it would have been in my top 10 films of the year. But either way, I thought it had some of the best action scenes of all time, next level choreography and stunt work, fantastic acting from an awesome cast, and greatness in every technical aspect. 
and there was nothing I didn't like about this film. I'm gonna give John Wick Chapter 2 a 10 out of 10 and recommend that you go see this one in theaters ASAP if you love action films it can handle the very violent imagery, whether you've seen the first one or not. So did you guys see John Wick Chapter 2 yet? What did you think of it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if not, let me know whether you'd be interested in watching this film or not. And as always, if you like this video, click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for much more content like this. That's all for now though. This is Will Foxification signing off. See you in the next one.